I'm gonna call you Miss Louder. No! <laughs> Drop that gun. No one kills anyone in here. Hola! How bad is it? Are you an idiot, Teddy? Hey, Miss Louder, it's great to meet you. My name is Kurt. I don't know if you remember me. Uh, we were introduced by our mutual friend, Hamilton. Oh, yes, yes. That's, yes, that's right. Cool. We also have another mutual friend, Gerard Butler. I don't know that guy. Who, who is he? <laughs> 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 All right. So um, Alexis and I, we've known each other for a few years now. Uh, you're here in Atlanta. Let's actually tell people who Hamilton is. Hamilton Thank is my great Dan puppy. And he's my little ball of joy that makes me so happy. Or maybe more truthfully, you are Hamilton's human. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is true. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> um, all right. So I, I guess I could ask you questions about Hamilton this whole time, but maybe we should talk about the movie. Uh, I just watched it last night. I thought it was awesome. It, what a fun movie to be a part of. What, what, are, you, what are you stopping me from? No, I only agree to talk about Hamilton. Oh, okay. Well, we can talk about Hamilton. Um, let's show a picture <laughs> of Hamilton. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop up a picture of Hamilton right now. Shout out to Chase Anderson, who shot the picture of Alexis and Hamilton. That's on the screen right now. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, let's move on to the movie. I, I just saw it last night. What a fun what a fun movie to be a part of. What a fun character to play for you. Yeah. Uh, tell just give us a little uh, a little bit about your experience working on it. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. So I get the audition and I find out that Joe Carnahan is the director, and I'm like, because uh, <laughs> I am a huge fan. And then when I get the call back, I find out that. Frank Grillo and Gerard Butler are attached. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like that is like action thriller gold right there. And they've known each other for years and never worked together. So I get the lucky joy of working with them when friends get to come together and make a project. Hey, so you are um, the person that brought everybody together. Look at you. You know, people call me glue sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I've never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming now. I'm, I'm, you know, this is. Okay, you're putting it into the universe. Yes. All right. Out there. Alexis right. Blue, louder. You know. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so uh, then I read the material and I learned that I'm going to have to learn gunslinging and police mm -hmm. procedure. And I'm like, anytime an actor gets the opportunity to learn new skills, you're like, this is gold. Like, when do you get the opportunity to just call up a gunslinger? Like, hey, teach me how to twirl some guns. <laughs> so, oh, how did you how did you find a gunslinger to call up? You, just, you, oh, you can just I didn't up. find him. Joe found. Oh, okay, him. okay, yeah. all right. Joe found him, and uh, he he knows his stuff. And yeah. like, I, I'm surprised I didn't lose a finger. That gun is heavy. It's a 45 Blackhawk. And I remember seeing you post Instagram stories of you right. practicing, and uh, in the beginning, you were not so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a talent I had in my back pocket. This is true. But you got, you have the talent now, so now yes. you can play gunslingers. Exactly, and I probably should get back to practicing before I lose it. But I, well, they, I'm sure it's they, like riding a bike. You'll you'll have it for the rest. Right. Of the yeah, time. they made me uh, replicas that. Mm -hmm. um, that were of the same weight so I would practice with those and um I should have kept one but I don't I know the prop guy yeah I'm sure you could get one <laughs> the one thing I, I did want to ask you about the gunslinging are you actually left-handed no you're not so I am. and and it was a it was an important part of the story to have Valerie be left-handed and that's why you you had to learn how to do everything left-handed for this what happened was I was practicing the twirling and realized that I was better with the left hand than the right. And I said, Valerie's left-handed now. <laughs> really? Yes. It was a it was the weirdest thing. I was I was doing I was doing the twirls with the right hand. And I was like, and then I, because I knew that there were going to be times where I switch because they want uh, Joe wanted me to be ambidextrous. Okay. So, and they were gonna do a belt that was right-handed. Hmm. But I was like, you know what? Let's just switch it all because um, 
because this is going to look better for camera too because there are a lot of angles uh that worked well for the left hand oh that's awesome yeah so again like you made the whole thing come together by switching i hands. mean you said it there you go um <laughs> uh, so uh I, I also wanted to talk to you more about this this character of valerie because she's super cool and and not just in this movie uh, but you've played some other cool characters like leading up to this, like in the Tomorrow War and in Charmed, Teenage Bounty Hunters. You like you've played a lot of like cool badass characters. <laughs> Are you how from a scale of one to ten, how much of a cool badass are you in real life? On a scale of one to ten, I'm a twelve. You're a 12, so you're yes. cooler than the characters that, so you have to tone down your cool and badassness when you play characters on screen. Wow. You tone it down because, you know, I know how it makes you feel, Kurt, you know, when I just walk in with my badassery. So I'm like, let me, let me yeah, kill one, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> no, I'm more like a three. <laughs> like, <laughs> Valerie definitely gets her confidence from me. Mm -hmm. But the ability to walk into the situations that she's presented with and just be like, um, I'm not going to wait for the FBI or the CIA. I'm going to handle this myself. Um, right. That takes some chutzpah. And I don't know if I have that level of badassery, but, you know, she's um, <laughs> she's got something, you know, <laughs> she has an insatiable thirst for justice and like, yes, she is persistent in keeping the bad guys behind bars, making sure that she writes the wrongs and she's going to get to the truth. And that's very clear throughout as the movie progresses, you can see that she is not going to stop. No, not up for not anybody. At all. right. Uh, and Hamilton, she's just nonstop. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah, tie it all back. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, really quick, I do want to ask you because you had mentioned you auditioning for this earlier. What was the audition process like, and like what connected you to uh, Valerie's character when you first read read it? Well, first, the audition process was sixteen pages in a matter of seventy two hours. Wow! And I was like, well, you know what? You're going to learn a lot about yourself and your skills through this process. And I did. Um, and what I loved about Valerie was that she was a woman that she was a rookie, so she didn't know everything. And we didn't want her to be a know-it-all, but she did bring a level of competence to, um, to her role as a police officer from her previous life. And her colleagues appreciated that. They treated her as a peer. They treat, they liked having her a part of the team. She wasn't like a wet blanket that everyone was like, oh God, the woman is coming, you know? And a lot of times when you have a strong female in a male dominated environment, the male characters are always written so insecure. So I, I really appreciated that, that she, she had a nucleus to rely on and it makes you care more as the story goes on with the the things that happen with the other cops Initially. yeah not to not to give anything away, <laughs> anything away. <laughs> uh, but i do uh, that that was something that i really appreciated about the movie too was that it wasn't like oh it wasn't like trying to push the fact that look at valerie as a strong female it was just like this character exists and she just happens to be a strong female character. And like one of my favorite scenes was where you're sitting down in the jail cell, right? And you have these great scenes with the other leads of the movie. And it's uh, it's really cool. And actually, uh, another one of my favorites is towards the end, the scene, I'm trying to not to give as um, too much of it away where you're just, you're sitting in the chair for a good amount of time having that long conversation, more or less a monologue. And I was thinking like, that would be a great scene to have in acting classes for people because what yeah. a, a fun scene that was to shoot. I, I love tackling that scene. And yeah. Joe had um, a soundtrack playing. Um, I don't know if I can say which soundtrack, but it was like very moody music before mm -hmm. we got into the scene. He was like, I just want to film you for like two whole minutes just with this music playing and you sitting and staring. And I was like, let's do it, you know? Nice. And, and the cell block scenes, like it was 
a lot of those scenes were like a play. And I, I love that about the writing of it. And we were able to get in there and rehearse um, uh, the three of us. And it's like the cell block was uh, a metaphor because it's like, who can you let in? Who can you trust? And right. I thought that was, I thought that was dope the way that it was written and put together. And then once we're outside the cell block, all hell breaks loose. Yeah, and, and the way that it was shot too, I felt like uh, there were a couple of scenes where you turn around and give a side eye a few times. <laughs> and I was like, oh, there's where Alexis connects with the character. <laughs> um, okay, so last question for you. Oh, uh, I know that uh, with, as once a movie wraps sometimes, uh, actors tend to, take things from sets. I wonder if you've taken anything from sets, especially in this movie. First of all, take is a strong word, okay. Tomorrow, um, that you're gonna get <laughs> back at some point? I, um, I procured my boots. Uh, they Your have, boots. yeah, my boots. I kept my boots and I wear them quite often because they. I took the time to break them in um before we started shooting they are molded to my foot and I'm like no one else can wear these boots so wait I think I've seen you wear these boots before that you're talking about I didn't know those were the ones from cop shop boots <laughs> <laughs> so you're just wearing them around like they're nothing but they yeah. were actually from the movie yep <laughs> that's amazing In my um, <laughs> all right well I think we're out of time here so uh I am super excited to see uh this movie again this time in theaters. I'm sure you are as well uh, to go see it with as many people as you can out in theaters. Um, really, really proud of you, really excited for you. Uh, can't wait to see you soon. Thank you, Kurt. It was so nice chatting with you. Yeah, congratulations again, Alexis. <laughs> Thank you. All right, see you later. See ya. What are you gonna arrest me? What are you people, please arrest me. You're under arrest. How bad is it? Are you an idiot, Teddy?